Alright, what is going on guys and welcome back to the Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Part 11. At the end of last episode, we caught your mom here, who is not looking too happy. Oh, your mom is dizzy, apparently. So you know what, we'll fix that. <laughs> Let's just use a quick potion on this thing. I, I think I have, okay, yeah, so I have a super potion, we'll use that. We've got one of these bad boys left, so we give that to Beedrill and we are looking happy. Okay, so now we continue. I think we're pretty much done with this whole forest area, I believe. Right? I don't even... What do you, what do you say? Huff, puff, huff. I'm out of breath. I've been running to try and charge the Pokewalker. Oh, really? Well, interesting. Let's go over this way. I think there's actually probably an item if you follow this. There's got to be. If there's an open open fence in this area, there's got to be an item back here. Also, I apologize if I sound different in this episode. I've been feeling kind of a little bit under the weather today, and I just felt like recording anyway. Oh, we got a we got a we got a Pokeball. It's a fucking TM07 for Flash Cannon. Not bad. I don't know what that TM is ordinarily, but that's that's pretty bad. It's probably gonna be something good if they make you run all the way over down here for it. And there's, oh, okay, yeah, can't headbutt that shit. Okay, so continuing on, I think we're, that's that's really all there is in this place. We got ourselves a B drill here, so you know that's pretty cool. It's interesting though how it wasn't randomized. I'm kind of wondering why. It's like this area is just programmed. No matter what, you can't randomize the bug catching contest because they wouldn't know how to judge things. I, I would assume. I don't. Over here we have a rock climb thing to an item, and I really want that. It's like, Beedrill, fly up there and grab that item, bro. <laughs> That's all I need. If Pokemon was realistic. Over here we have an Ultra Ball. Cool. So randomized items give you some interesting stuff sometimes. I'm just now thinking about it, and I could have totally, like, ran into, like, a Master Ball, or, like, even an Ultra Ball in, like, the early episodes would have definitely helped out for catching Pokemon, for sure. But let's continue over this way, and we are going to go towards Ecritic City is the, ne the next destination, so... We're on Route 36 here, where I believe I actually can catch a wild Pokemon, so that's that should be sweet. We also are going to deal with that Sudo-Udo guy, so we got some we got some stuff ahead of us. Let me guess what you're thinking. Oh man, you don't even <laughs> this person probably like if you could actually read minds would be like, oh man, this guy is thinking about some just messed up stuff. <laughs> anyway, has a Dratini at level 14. I only have two Psycho Boosts left on Beedrill, but you know what? I'm going for it, mate. This <laughs> this attack takes so long to do its animation. Holy shit. And it's gonna do a lot of damage to the Dratini as this thing goes for Egg Bomb and misses. Haha! -ha. Try to throw your egg at me again, Dratini. And it looks like, oh, oh shit, it's gonna endeavor, which is gonna bring me down to 5 HP, and that is Risky Biscuits. I'm switching into Seahorse. Holy hell. Hits me with an Egg Bomb. Ouch, bruh. But one side, one side Beam takes that thing out, so I'm probably gonna need to train Beedrill up a little more, and next we have a Haunter. So you know what, I'm going into your mom, and then I'm going to switch right back into... Right back into Seahorse, who can then side beam this thing. Oh, fuck, Ice Fang. Critical hit, did, n <laughs> did zero damage. You are a failure of a Ghost Hunter. You're not even scary. Next is Shroomish. Your mom definitely needs experience. I could probably actually just use another potion, I guess. Let's let Cheerio get the kill here, though. Ooh, try to will me. Try that shit again, bruh. Yeah, that is dead shroomish. Alright. So let's see, I think down this way it leads to around okay, yeah, so this is 35. We did already come down this way, so we're just on like the opposite side of that tree. So you know what? Whatever, we're continuing this way. And B drill does need a potion, so I only have seven hyper potions left. We'll use one on B drill. And cool, so I can catch a wild Pokemon in this grass. Let's see what I can get. First encounter, better be something good. Be something good. It is a Staravia. So that's kind of... That's kind of interesting, I guess. Staravia is pretty fucking sweet. I don't know if... Beedrill, let's hit it with a Psycho Boost. It's gonna go for Constrict. <laughs> Constricting Staravia. Nice. Nice. And Psycho Boost. How much damage is that shit gonna do? Alright, perfect. Does a decent amount. Now I can probably actually go for a Tri Attack and it won't kill it because I lost Special Attack. This thing has Energy Ball, so that's interesting. Very interesting moves that you got here, sorry of you. Perfect, let's throw some balls at this thing. Actually, do I even have Pokeballs? Oh shit, I, don't, I only have one Ultra Ball. Oh Jesus, whatever, I'm going for it. At least it's an Ultra Ball, so you know, we got a pretty decent chance. Staravia, let me catch you. Please. Yes, yes. Alright. So we got ourselves a Staravia. Staravia first try. That's, that's pretty fucking cool. They maintain huge flocks, although fierce scuffles break out between various flocks. So that's pretty cool. What should I nickname this thing? Staravia. Alright, it is decided. 
I shall name this thing Hardcore after my buddy Crimson Seabad's post Hardcore. I think that's what he. Is that what he names a star after? I don't know. Anyway, well, we got Hardcore, the, <laughs> the Star Avia, which is cool. And we got a guy over here I can properly prepare for any Pokemon anniversary. Cool. Hey, good for you, guy. We have Weightlifter Pansy. <laughs> you don't look like a Weightlifter at all. You look like a Pansy, though. So that's. Okay, you got yourself an Amber Palm. I. Should I try attack this thing? No, it's probably going to be able to do way too much damage. So, you know what? I'm going into Rig Roll. I do have Cross Chop. Hey, predicted the discharge, although I used all my Cross Chops. Well, damn. I do have Fake Out, though, and fucking Seismic Toss does way too much damage. So, you know what? Tubby can take this thing. We bulky. We bulky. Seed Bomb. Oh, fuck, that does a lot of damage. You know what? I have to Hyper Potion. Sorry, Tubby. Actually, I'm not sorry. You fucking. You enjoy that shit. <laughs> Let's go for an extreme speed. Ooh, almost is able to take this thing out, but not quite. One more is going to take care of the Amber Pomp. All right, cool. And you know what I just now thought about? Okay, no, I don't want to hear about your textbooks, guy. I don't want your phone number. Okay, I just thought about the fact that I know the Sudowoodo is coming, and it's on the same route as where I just caught that freaking Staravia. So we're not going to be able to catch whatever this Sudowoodo turns out to be. I'm the Flower Shop's Florio. Listen, listen. When I sprinkled water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It has. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you soaked it, oh, that's the squirt bottle. Well, I mean, you could use any type of bottle. It doesn't have to be just this special squirt bottle, lady. So we're going to go ahead and squirt this odd tree, because it seems like the thing to do. Everybody's pressuring us into this shit, so you know what? We'll go for it. Odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. Odd tree attacked. And I don't think it's going to be a Sudowoodo. It's going to probably be something random. It is a Mantike. Okay, well, that's actually pretty interesting. It is level 20, so that's kind of, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Should I kill this thing for experience, or should I just not? You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna run for- Oh, oh shit, can't escape. Agility, oh god. Now this bastard's fast as hell. <laughs> what should I do? I'm going into... I'm going into Seahorse. Judgment? Oh, fuck, this Mantike has fucking- Oh my god. I blew it, man. I really should've saved my encounter for this Mantike. I'm just gonna run from it, because I don't want to deal with that damn thing. That was fun. I'm gonna give you this for entertaining me. Obtain the Berry Pots. This person just gave us some pot. That's that's not very PG. I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do any good without berries. And we have given okay, so it gives us some orange berries as well to go with our pot and patch of berries. And all right, cool. So we can plant some stuff. Sounds cool. I have to go back to Goldenrod. Are you heading for Ecritique? You Should go north here. See you around. Okay, so we are going north here to Ecri towards Ecritique. So that's cool. Over to the right, the ruins of Alpha Alpha over that way. But we are going this way. Where we have an item over this way, it is a Dragon Fang. Cool, I feel like I have a lot of Dragon items for some reason. I don't know why, but uh... Okay, cool, so now we're at Route 37, and unfortunately I don't have any damn Pokeballs. Shit. I could go back and get some, but honestly I'm too lazy, so you know, we're just gonna do this double battle, so who should I put in front? Beedrill, you weak, so you know what, we're putting... We're putting Cheerio and Rick Roll, and I'm also gonna heal up Rick Roll, so I only have... Five Hyper Potions. After this one, I'm gonna have four. Should be good enough. That should do the trick. What's up, ladies? Let's battle! Alright, I'm bringing out a Pokemon. Alright, you do that. You do that. So we got a double battle here. Senior and Junior Cam and Ally have Fion and Metatite. Fione, Fion, I don't know how the hell people say it, but I call it, yeah, okay. So let's see here. I'm going to... I'm just going to chatter on the Meditite, and then you know what, I'm just going to fake out on the Fion. Fiona, just so I don't have to deal with that thing for at least a turn. Giga Impact, oh Jesus. Damage, bro. <laughs> that actually hurt quite a bit. And that didn't even kill. Okay, well you know what, let's go for one more chatter on the Meditite, and now we can just start Seed Bombing the Fiona. Hopefully it doesn't have any water moves. Oh shit, it has Grass Knot, that's just as bad. Okay, well it doesn't do a whole lot, I guess, since Vampy's not very... Not the fat, not the, not the fattest thing around. An elephant, but you know, pretty pretty skinny elephant, little guy. Grass knot depends on uh, weight, so and plus it's not stabbed, so luckily I'm able to not take a whole lot of damage from that. Now let's just go for a vine whip and one more seed bomb should do the trick. Oh Jesus, this thing has mega drain too. Are you serious? That actually might hurt. Oh god. Okay, yeah, no, that did less. <laughs> this thing has just got all sorts of grass moves, man. See if those were water moves, I'd be pretty. Pretty destroyed, but thankfully they're not. Okay, so now we got another double battle here. Should probably use another hyper potion. I got four of these bad boys left. Let's just use it on Rickroll. And that sounds good to me. 
Fucking double battles galore out here. How are you a cute little trainer? Why don't you battle me? Ooh, she hitting on me. And her friend is too. Look at me, I'm just surrounded by the pokey bitches right now. <laughs> oh man, that sounds so weird to say. But yeah, I, I get I get I get the ladies. Gentleman Marilyn and Gentleman Zoe. I don't get the gentleman. We have a Chin Chow and a Feebas. Interesting, interesting. Let's let's uh Cheerio here can just hit the Feebas and we'll actually just Actually, no, I'm gonna fake out. I'm gonna fake out the uh, the Chin Chow. Get a little bit of damage. Swift. Ouch, bruh. So down goes the ugly ass fish. Cool. And oh, damn, it's a Regirock. <laughs> okay. It's a level 16 Regirock. You know what? I'm gonna burn you. Just because that'll make my life a little easier. And you know what? I'm gonna actually just seed bomb the Regirock. The legendary is definitely the priority for now. <laughs> Let's see how much seed bomb does. Okay, so not a whole lot of damage. And oh, fuck. I, I totally thought he was just about to use explosion or something. Oh my god. I can't be the only one that thought he was just about to explode. Whenever I see a Regirock, I just expect explosion. So he's about to use Solar Beam, and that's... And that's pretty fucking scary. I'm gonna Vine Whip it with Cheerio, and then... So if he does end up Solar Beaming Regir... Er, if the Regirock uses Solar Beam on Rickroll, I think I should be able to live it. But you know what? Just to be safe, I'm gonna Defend Order. Just because... Oh, String Shot. Oh, Jesus. Getting your strings everywhere. Alright, fuck. Okay, Solar Beam, how much? Okay, lands on Cheerio, so that's gonna be fine. Okay, perfect, perfect. So Rig Roll gets a defend order. We got that defense now. Oh yeah. And a critical hit on the Vine Whip. That's what I like to see, Cheerio. Putting it in for the team. One more should do the trick. And one Seed Bomb on Shin Chow should do it. Oh shit, the Red Rock just used Slack Off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Slack Off, bro, really? As Cheerio grows to level 20, not bad. And oh my god. <laughs> they have a Mewtwo also. Oh god, that is... That is just unideal. You know what, I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp this thing also, just to play it safe. I don't know what type of moves this Mewtwo has, dude, but that is... That is insanely scary. Let's... I only have Seed Bomb for an attacking move on this... Fampy. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go in for it on Regirock, as the Mewtwo's gonna go for a Growth. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I land the Will-O-Wisp on it, that's good news. Both of them hurt by their burn. The... Regirock is just about to use Solar Beam again, so... Shit. This is Vine Whip it. And then Seed Bomb the Mewtwo and see what happens. Okay, so the Mewtwo uses Pound. Oh, okay, a little bit of damage, not a whole lot. As the Solar Beam lands... Oh, no, no, not on Cheerio. I totally thought you... Why don't you hit Fampy? Luckily, it doesn't take a whole lot of damage from that, but still. Vine Whip is gonna kill the Regirock. Thank God. That was ridiculous. And Seed Bomb doesn't do a whole lot to Mewtwo, but the burn is definitely helping. So, just to play it safe, I should probably just go for a Hyper Potion on Cheerio. Get the health back to full. And a couple more attacks on this Mewtwo should do the trick. It only has Pound, so you know, that's actually very fucking nice. I mean, I don't know if it only has Pound, that's literally all it's using, so that's what it's leading me to believe. And, okay, literally Mewtwo used Pound the whole entire time. <laughs> Any other Pokemon would have been more of a threat than that Mewtwo. So I guess that's pretty cool. Whew, Marilyn and Zoe were defeated. Okay, cool. So ho I wonder if I could get through this grass without running into a wild Pokemon. If, if I could, that would be some next level shit. I'm going for it. If I run into a wild Pokemon, I can't catch it. But if I avoid it, that'd be... Uh oh, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't run through the grass because that makes it easier for finding wild Pokemon. Damn it, why do I always do that? And we have a Frostlass, which would have been amazing to catch. Man, I can't escape from this fucking thing. Magical Leaf, really? Why the fuck can't I escape from this frost? Oh, it has Shadow Ball too. Oh, shit. This thing is scary. Why can't I escape from it? What the fuck? Perry can escape from it. Holy hell. I really want that frost, lads. Damn it. Why did I run? I should have just... Because if you run through the grass, apparently it makes it easier to find wild Pokemon. I'm an idiot. Anyway, we have... Who the hell is this asshole? And why is he cutting me in line? What's up, bro? Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Hayden, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? The girl Lynette from Hoenn made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. Friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. Have to hurry back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye You didn't even heal your Pokemon. Why'd you have to cut me in line and tell me that? I don't even care, bruh. I literally don't even care. 
So we'll get a nice heal going. That was that was a scary battle. That luckily that Mewtwo was like the pussiest Mewtwo I've literally ever seen. So that's that's fantastic. So yeah, we're in Ecrotic City. Let's go ahead and take a look around. Pretty scenic place. We got Morty's gym here. What's going on? The Mystic Seer of the future. Cool. We got it. We got some houses. Might as well just explore everywhere possible. Just cause. Ah, oh, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? You are right, my friend. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. And we get the dowsing machine. So that's cool. We can, uh, probably never going to use that, but hey, thanks for the free stuff, guy. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So we have the Poke Center here. We got some more. A house I can't even go into. Like, where the fuck's your door, person? And we have a Pokemart. I definitely I definitely should buy some items here. Totally just burped. My bad. Let's. <laughs> I'm going to get some super potions. So I have zero in my bag. I'm going to get six of these bad boys. And I need some great balls. I can get nine, so you know what? I'm using all my money on those bastards. So we're stocked up. We got we got potions. We got balls. We got everything we need. Over here is the dance studio place, right? Yep, dance theater. Cool, cool place. Hmm, I thought I just heard a woman screaming or something. What? What the hell are you talking about, guy? We got just pretty much a whole bunch of other houses, and then we have, like, this is the Burnt Tower, I believe, right? Yeah. Burnt Tower was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away, as it is unsafe. The tower that used to be here, I heard that it is, used to be much taller before it was burned by a fire. You don't say. And then over here, what is that? What the hell is this place? This is the barrier station to Bell Tower. No trespassing by the unworthy. What? What, bruh? Acritique used to have two towers, one on the east and one on the west. Well, ain't that interesting. Let's go... Do I go in the Burnt Tower first, or do I go in the Dance Theater? I'm pretty sure... Let's check out the Burnt Tower, because I, I can catch a wild Pokemon in here, which... Should be cool. So this is the Burnt Tower, and it looks like a pretty run-down place, and wouldn't you know it, we got the fucking legendary dogs down there. What is going on here? My name is Eugene. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune, and you are Hayden. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to look. Yeah, he's literally right there. Like, you can't see him. I'm... There, Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away in no time. I know. I've tried it many times. This is the guy that has, like, the the weird fetish for, <laughs> for Suicune. And we also have our red-headed friend here, Wiener. Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon and make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. Okay, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to battle freaking Wiener again. He's blocking the damn legendary dogs. Trying to hog him for himself. Wiener, Cop Wiener here has four Pokemon. Leads with a Kangaskhan. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna Will-O-Wisp you, just in case. Oh, fuck, it has Fire Punch. See, this, this is why I Will-O-Wisp. So physical, oh, fucking, oh my god. Knocks me down to eight HP. Holy Jesus, Cheerio, okay. Well, this is gonna be a pretty damn tough battle. I'm gonna switch into Rick Roll here. Fire Punch again, that's totally fine. While you're sitting there getting hurt by your burn, oh, it has Giga Drain too. What the fuck? So I'm gonna get a defend order. At least that's gonna raise my stuff, my defenses, quite a bit. Now, okay, Giga Drain's not gonna do a whole lot of damage for me. It does get its health back, but it's all good. It's all good. Cross chop. We'll see how much that does. Punch you right in the baby, and that is gonna actually knock that thing out with a critical hit. Hell yeah, Rick Roll. Hell yeah. All right. So next is Shaman. What? <laughs> oh my god, this dude has a fucking shaman now. Okay, so your mom still needs experience, can't really use that dude yet. You know what, I'm going into Seahorse, who does have Air Slash for this thing. And where the hell did you get a shaman, bro? Let's just Air Slash you. See how much this does. It is level 20, so pretty evenly matched here. Okay, it's not going to do a whole lot, and it has Earthquake. Ouch. Okay, that does that does a whole lot of damage. Luckily, I should be able to take should be able to take another one here. Could I get an air slash flinch? That would be ideal. Let me get a flinch. Let me get a flinch. Damn it. So it's just gonna earthquake again. Damn you, shaman. And seahorse lives it. Okay. So I do not want to risk seahorse getting fucked up. So you know what? I'm super potioning. Get back to full as it goes for a giga drain. Oh shit! You have a stab move, bro. You've had a stab move this whole time. You're using Earthquake. Well, one more Air Slash is going to take care of the Shaman, thank God. And next is Slacking. Oh, shit. That is actually very not good, because... Slacking's not going to have his normal ability. Who should I go into? 
Oh man, <laughs> I didn't even not. I do not even know. You know what? I'm gonna go into Tubby. I feel like Tubby's pretty bulky, as the name implies. Like okay, a little 18 slacking here, and it has drought, so it's or drizzle. It's gonna make it rain, not drought. Fucking complete opposite of that. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm gonna go for a lava plume and see if I can't get a burn. <laughs> Hits me with an ice punch. Let's see how much damage that does. Tubby. Oh fuck! And it freezes me. Are you serious? Fucking slacking, dude. Oh god. This is not good. This is not good at all. Tubby just got fucking frozen from that. Dude. I do not have an answer to this damn slacking, dude. Something's about to get fucked. Oh god. Oh lord. What do I do, man? Oh shit. Nobody can take an ice punch from this thing. Literally nobody I have. Oh god. What the fuck do I do? I think I have to switch, dude, man. I have to let somebody die, dude. Oh god, this is fucked. Slacking is terrible in a randomizer due to the fact that it doesn't have its normal ability, so it has the same stats and it can just attack whenever the hell it feels like it. Oh god. Alright, well, you know what? I have to do this. I, I have to switch into Beedrill here. This thing is gonna hit hard as fuck. Goes for another Ice Punch. Ouch. Ouch. And Beedrill dies. I am so sorry, Beedrill. <laughs> Your mom fainted. Fuck, dude. Perry can't take an Ice Punch. Seahorse Dancer doesn't really want to. I wonder if I can live one, though. I have to, I have to try it and see if I can fucking... Ugh. I need this thing paralyzed. If I can paralyze it, I can deal with this thing. I have to. Okay, so I'm gonna switch into Seahorse. I'm gonna Super Potion. How much is he gonna? This is gonna do way too much. Oh yes. Ooh, that does a that does a perfect amount. Now I can Thunder Wave yo ass. Can I get some paralysis? Don't kill. Don't kill me, please. No, please no. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Holy shit. So now <laughs> this isn't. This is a scary battle. Of course, my rival has a fucking threatening ass team. Sonic Boom? Ouch. That stabs, so that definitely hurts. Now, I think my best chance is to probably just go for some air slashes, see if I can't get some flinches. That would be perfect. Yes, paralyzing can't move. Yes, yes, yes. Air slash, paralyzing can't move. Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah. And, okay, broke through, hits me with an ice punch. Ouch. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. I have potions. Luckily, I just went to the damn store, stocked up on my fucking potions. And one more air slash is oh no it didn't it didn't take care of it no luckily though I'm able to live the ice punch and a psi beam is gonna take care of the slacking holy hell that thing was scary what is next next Zangoose okay Zangoose huh I'm going into rig roll on this one level 22 Zangoose man holy shit let's Let's super potion to get to full, see what this thing has for attacking moves. It's gonna go for ingrain. Okay, alright, that's that's fine. That's totally fine. I shall cross chop. I should have went for the damn fake out. Tackle actually does a decent amount of damage because it's stabbed and Zangus hits pretty damn hard. But luckily two cross chops is gonna do the trick. Yes, yes, please only tackle me. And one more cross chop, oh yeah. So Beedrill died. I had to sacrifice something. I, I feel terrible about it. Poor Beedrill, man. Poor Beedrill. Well, your mom did not last very long. But I guess that's probably one of the best ones that could have died. Just because it wasn't really randomized, so... You, know, you didn't really fit in with the rest of the group, your mom. Uh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. And he just leaves. You asshole. Well, cool. We defeated that guy. That was, that was intense as hell. Alright, we're ending the episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Rest in peace, Beedrill, a.k.a. your mom. Sad day.